Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will be going into uh, subjective subjective questions on tutorial chapter 6. So the first question is, it asks us to explain briefly why a particle is moving with constant speed. Uh, with, I mean, constant speed of V in a circular path of radius R and experience an acceleration. So we have to explain it lah okay and then the next question we have we have to sketch a diagram which shows the directions of v and a the past two questions we question b we have to write an expression for the centripetal force in terms of mv and r and lastly use this expression to calculate the centripetal force for this given uh, variables numbers okay Alright, so I've written down the explanation. Well, uh, the reason the particle moves in a circular path, even though it's it has constant speed, is it's because the vo the velocity is not constant. Why is it? Why is the velocity not constant? It is because the direction of velocity is always changing. Okay. The past two, if we use the Newton's law of motion, the change in velocity, which is the change in momentum, will produce a force. Okay, so this force causes the particle to experience an acceleration when it moves in a circle. Okay, so let's draw the diagram. So if we have a diagram like this, so the path is a circular path, right? And then assuming this is our object. Okay, so this object will move in a circular path. Then the velocity is linear. Okay, so it does not move towards the center. It is tangential to the circular path. Okay, so this is our velocity. Okay, lepas tu kalau dia sampai di sini, dia punya velocity changes direction. Okay, so it keeps on changing direction. When there's a change in direction, which is change in velocity, the object is experiencing a change in momentum lah. Okay, so when there's a change in momentum, there will be a force. Okay, so wait, let me just write this. This is velocity. Velocity, velocity. Okay, so when the object is experiencing a change in momentum, there will be a presence of force. Okay, so this force is the one that causes this uh, particle, this particle here, to move in a circular path. Lah. Okay. Pas tu satu lagi dia suruh lukis direction of the direction of the oh I'm yeah direction of the acceleration so acceleration is the centripetal acceleration which is going towards the center of the circle. Boleh lah tu center lah tu. Okay so it is going towards the center of the circle. Right, so this is our acceleration, centri centripetal acceleration, okay? Right, so if uh, if the question is asking you to draw a diagram, a sketch a diagram to show the direction of V and A, this is how you gonna draw it, okay? Right, lepas tu apa lagi? Mm, uh, question B, we have to write an expression for the centripetal force in terms of M, V, and R. So I'm just gonna use pink. Okay, I'm gonna use pink. So question B. We know that the centripetal force is equal to M, V square over R. Tu jala jawapan dia. Okay. Pas tu question Roman 2. We have to use this equation to find the centripetal force. So the mass is given which is 3.5 kilogram. And then it has a radius of 3.14 meter. Pastu dia punya speed is eh, V. 
is equal to 3.46 meter per second so just use this formula m is 3.5 v is 3.46 over dengan r which is 3.14 okay so you should be getting the value of um okay 13.34 newton lah oops i forgot square here okay so the answer is 13.34 newton okay so this is your answer your solution for question number one